What's up guys? I'm continuing on the uh, restoration of my South Bend lathe. Um, today's video we're going to use a propane torch. What's that about? And uh, wax a little bit philosophical on Christmas Eve. Stay tuned, let's get started. Just love working with these old cast iron parts from the South Bend lathe. They're just all solid and yeah, they got brass tags. It's just a, a real solidity to them. So I've got the old paint off and I've shown a lot of that before, putting on Bondo, sanding it off, trying to get them smooth. Got some paint on them and uh, starting to look nice and glossy. But I'm concerned that the gloss from that high gloss enamel it's not going to last if it gets uh, scratched, etc. So I'm going to use a, a two-part clear coat, which you have to mix together and then it hardens, to put an outer shell on it. I'm putting it on with a brush, which leaves little bubbles. But when I hit it with this propane torch, they magically disappear. Not my trick, of course, but it's the first time I've done it, and it's very cool. I've already put some clear coat on these ones. Still got to do that and that and these. I found though that you gotta be very careful with that clear coat. If the paint's not completely dried, then the solvent in the clear coat causes the paint to wrinkle up and you gotta start all over. And that's what happened here. So I had to go back and sand it off and do the whole thing over, give it days to dry. So that was a little bit of a hassle. It's crisp this morning, there was frost. It's mostly burned off now. All right, so just a status update. I've gone back and now got another uh, clear coat. Some of those have had two coats, some of them have just one. Decided to put the first coat of red on these parts that will be facing the inside. Uh, you can see the, the uh, base underneath it, so I'll have to get a second coat to look nice. And then I'll probably come back around the edges and I need to touch up the blue part. Then I need to put another coat of clear coat on the front side. Good morning. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put a second coat on this red inner door. I think it's kind of satisfying when I have that bright, brilliant color. It really feels like you've done something. As I'm filming this, it's Christmas Eve which I always think of the evening evening, but I guess Christmas Eve applies to the whole day. We're gonna celebrate with my in-laws this morning for a brunch. So I've gotten up early to try to put a quick coat of paint on before we go. I've already got all my presents loaded up in the car. Most of the rest of the family is still in bed. So I think I have a few minutes to get this knocked out. school I went to a boarding school which I think for many people think of that as like a punishment for us it was um, it was a religious school and there wasn't a good option close to my home and this particular school was set up because we were there all the time and they had to keep us busy they would have us work for half a day and go to school half a day and the half a day of work I worked on the maintenance crew and overall it was a very positive thing for me um, learned how to paint and just there's something reassuring about the simple things of just taking your time and making it look nice really enjoyed my time there 
little school called Mount Pisgah Academy in Candler, North Carolina. And I worked with a little guy named Orlo Collins. He was a very steadying influence on me. Since passed away, but look back fondly with that with those times. This is looking very nice. When I say I learned how to paint, I'm sure that someone watching this would find all kinds of things I'm not doing correctly. I should say I learned to paint, not necessarily the proper way to paint, but I just learned that it's something I can do. Not to be afraid of trying. Okay, last thing, just wanted to show how I smoothed out the casting for the legs. I used the Bondo liquefied with epoxy resin, although I later decided I don't like the epoxy resin, but that's what I did here. I sanded it off, looking smooth, uh, and painted it. And this legs I'm fairly happy with. I can see some imperfections there, but I think it'll be okay. It's raining today. Muddy and slippery, don't fall. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna about be it for the small parts of the headstock. Um, for the next video, I'm going to focus on the lathe ways, which is like the bed, uh, kind of from beginning to end. Uh, here's a little sneak peek there. Um, just going through a final coat of paint although we'll still need to get some clear coat on it. But I'm gonna to try to go from beginning to end and show that as kind of one topic, even though some of it's been going on in parallel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're making steady progress. If you did like it, appreciate it, give it a thumbs up. And again, I'd love comments. I'm small enough that I'll read and respond to all the comments that come through. And I uh, just hope this has been helpful for you and that you enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks.